through to cross the desert, we can't meet Pharaoh. And after you've all risked your lives to help me... Maybe it's better that we didn't find him after all. Yeah. If we had to fight him now, we probably wouldn't make it out. Think about it, though. Pharaoh can fly. He's free to be pretty much anywhere at any time. Tracking him down will be a tall order unless he's got a lair somewhere in the area. Ugh. No one's saying that meeting him will be impossible. We might get some information if we ask around in the town. You're right. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Both of you. Oh, she's, her, she's still learning that one, so it's fine. She's got the other two. Yuri gets so many weapons. Uh, Judy, apparently. Does she have the Queen of Hearts equipped? Almost. Oh, he seems not far from here. What? We got here magically. The 
This town's weird. It's in the middle of the desert, but look at all the plants. It sort of reminds me of Mantake. Yeah, but there is something different. Really? There may be more here than meets the eye. Maybe the truth is hidden away. Leave it to Judith to put things into perspective. The better the intuition, the more you see. Hey, I have, I have intuition. intuition. I can't block strangers, you just spoke to me. Nothing stopped you there, did it? That box. Do you know something about this box? Launchy head. Oh, we're carrying around. Where did you get it? A box? On a ship called the Atherum, my lovely lady. Have you heard of it? Of course. You know about the Atherum, too? Uh, yes. We happen to come across it on the ocean. Did you see Launchy? And Launchy would be. Oh, Launchy is my love. I'm sorry to suddenly get so personal. Um. Come again. Your love. Damn it. Hey, Carol, your turn. You're hopeless. Um, all that we saw was, uh, the ship itself. Oh, I see. Could I ask your name? Oh, my name is Euathon. That's the name that was in the diary we found on the Atherum. Perhaps she's a descendant with the same name? Do you know about the clear seal crystal? They say it has the power to drive back monsters. The sage said it was necessary to make a barrier around the town. I is that what's in the box? Yes, we came to deliver this Um, huh. I see. Hey, is that the key? Could I have the box? What the ever loving wow. fuck is going on is this here? The clear seal crystal? Looks like it. It's so sparkly and glittery. A treasure even more beautiful than sea sparkles blooming on the surface of the ocean. So, who's that sage you were talking about earlier? The sage is a great Critian who came to our town from across the desert. A Critian? Well, creating a barrier is basically creating a blastia. Blastia? Uh. But we can make blastia with current technology, right? There are people who do. You saw the blastia at Emid Hill in Kerbakram. But I don't think that sage guy is the one who made those blastia with messed up formulas. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't really understand. But the sage said that the clear CL crystal was needed to create the barrier. So long she set out to look for it. It's been three years since he left. Three years, huh? You must be worried. Wait, this sounds weird. It does. Yeah, the stories don't match up. You think she could have miscounted by a thousand years? How old is she anyway? The same thing could have happened three years ago, or a thousand years ago, probably. They say that history repeats itself. Who really knows? Is that sage in this town? Where does he live? Oh, yes. He lives in the house farthest into the town. I think it might be faster if we went to talk to the sage. Yes, maybe so. Huh. Um, if you're going there, could you take the clear CL crystal to the sage for me? Yes, of course. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go. Excuse me. Huh? Hey, that's... You're... Who exactly? 
We've run into each other a couple times. Have we though? You. How have you come to this place? What do you mean, how? We walked. As in, across the desert. I see. And yet, how did you... <laughs> no matter. For what reason have you come? We're a little curious about this. This must have cost you dearly to obtain. Actually, it just sort of landed in our lap. Hmm. That was quite a miracle. You're planning on making a barrier blast, yeah, aren't you? You're free to go pretending you're a sage, but forget about making any blastia. Who would even consider building a barrier blastia with something that's so obviously not a core? But it is a solid mass of air. It simply lacks an inscribed formula. Lacks an inscribed formula? What do you mean? They are most commonly known as apatheia, of which the clear CL crystal is one example. So this is an apatheia? That the treasure you've been looking for, old man? Also, I am not the sage. Huh? I don't even know what the hell's going on right now. Any longer. Wait. That's a problem. Uh, we'll need to get that back from you in that case. Neither I nor humanity have a need for such a thing. Whoa! What are you doing? Hold on a sec! It's the same phenomenon we saw at Cave Mock! Oh, man. Just when I found one. The Apathea bring only chaos to humanity. They are better off returned to air. Returned to air? Is that really all you did just now? Seems like There's it. still no reason to go smashing other people's things. What kind of a person treats treasure so poorly? Wasn't the clear seal crystal, the Apathea, needed to save this town from the monsters? This town has no use for a barrier, and no need to be saved. This place has been granted everlasting calm. What? Come to mention it, it is pretty quiet here. But still, there are monsters like Pharaoh nearby. How do you know of Pharaoh? I'd ask you the same thing. You seem to know about him yourself. Please, tell us what you know. Pharaoh referred to me as a poison. I see. You know something, don't you? There is a being in this world who possesses a power the Endelikea despise. You mean... me? This being is known as the Child of the Full Moon. Child of the Full Moon? Like in the legend? By Entelikea, you mean Pharaoh? That is correct. But what would the Entelikea have against me? Against a child of the full moon? What is this power the child of the full moon possesses that they despise? Power to heal things. That answer lies only within the hearts of the Entelikea themselves. Which means I've got no choice but to find Pharaoh and ask him myself. Do not be foolish. Meeting Pharaoh would end only in the death of the child of the full moon. But... Estelle, give it a rest. Hey, Regay, uh, Jaeger from Ruinsgate talked about the Entelikea earlier, didn't he? Something about them being the ancient race that built Nordopolica. So Pharaoh built Nordopolica? That doesn't seem possible. Take your leave. There's nothing more for you here. Wait, there's something I want to ask you, too. What were you doing at that Erkrene? Just who are you? What is that sword of yours? Those matters exceed your comprehension. Fair enough. Do not ask of them again. Go. I have nothing more to say. Where do you get off? Rita. Duke may have been the one that saved us in the desert. Hmm, maybe. 
I'm gonna go and thank him. Hold up. He doesn't seem the type to do something like that. You don't think so? Just a hunch. You said that child of the full moon he mentioned was the sister of Brave Vesperia, right? Yeah. Goddess who bathes this world in her golden light, you are named child of the full moon. Your brother, Brave Vesperia, watches over us from the skies. You remain bound to your mother, the Earth, and will shelter her with your unceasing protection. Is there like a hidden meaning in there? I'm not sure, but maybe it's more than just an old legend. Remaining to protect the Earth, huh? Could protecting the Earth have anything to do with ruling over this world? You mean like becoming the Emperor? If Estelle is the child of the full moon, that would add up. Which means all the previous emperors would have been on Pharaoh's hit list. I've never heard of anything like that. Hmm. This all sounds pretty complicated. Yeah, I suppose it might be a bit too complicated for you, Patty. It's too complicated for you too, old man. Rita can explain it to you later. Me? Shouldn't we be thinking more about what to do next? I'm gonna stay here. There are things I've got to investigate. Investigate? Clear seal crystals, apatheia, all kinds of things. Honestly, I have a few bones to pick with Mr. Warm and Fuzzy over there. If you're all going back, we'll have to say our goodbyes here. But... Oh, that's too bad. I don't imagine the desert will be much fun on your own, but good luck. Oh, that's right. I can't go anywhere without crossing that desert. <laughs> we can afford to take a load off while she's checking things out, can't we? I'm pretty interested in Apatheia myself. If we're going back into the desert, we need to take time to repair. We don't want to keel over again. That's true. How about we leave tomorrow? Rita, one day should be enough, right? Yeah. Shouldn't be a problem. Thanks. I appreciate it. Huh, you're welcome. Okay then, we'll meet up near the exit tomorrow morning. Right, see you then. Feel free to go on ahead and order Polica. Hey there, youngin. What? You want to get rid of me so soon? Wrong. I just wouldn't want you to miss the new moon and your chance to deliver the letter all in our account. Honestly, I could do fine without your concern. Wrong again. If Brave Vesperia gets in the way of Altosk's work, we'll be apologizing to the Dawn for an eternity. What? You're too young to bother yourself with such fluff. It's a matter of Brave Vesperia being trustworthy. You see what I mean? Yeah. We've still got time left until the new moon. We'll be fine. You sure? Anyway, ain't about to go back through the desert and that cave myself. If I got killed by some monster on the way there, not only would the letter not get delivered, but Brave Vesperia certainly wouldn't look very trustworthy to potential clients then, would they? In that case, we collect your bones and the letter and deliver them as promised. Oh, how kind of... Wait, hey! Anyway, just as long as you won't go blaming me if you don't manage to deliver it on time. Yeah. No problem. You're always out walking around, aren't you? 
Yes, I guess I'm a pretty restless person. That's unexpected. You seem to have some problems staying put yourself. I'm pretty restless myself. That's not so unexpected, I think. <sighs> Maybe it's the wanderlust coming back to me from when I used to fly around with Baul all the time. Maybe. Yeah, back when you were wearing that weird white armor. Yes. Are you going to look for Pharaoh by yourself? Nah. Oh, then where were you planning on going? Only a walk. Oh, I see. Doesn't it seem like we've been meeting this way a lot recently? No, must be your imagination. <laughs> Every time we go to go to walk for a walk, he's like, ah, hi, you're going for a walk. So you weren't able to meet Pharaoh after all. I learned about some very important things. The child of the full moon, and the Antilochia. But the only new thing we learned was what those words mean. As for the reason Pharaoh's trying to kill you, it seems we won't know unless we go and ask him directly. But you heard what he was saying. If I go to meet Pharaoh, he'll just wipe me out. It looks like we'll never know the truth then. All this. It's like I'm being told that I should just give up. No, no way. Maybe. Maybe? Huh? Maybe what I'm trying so hard to figure out isn't really that important to know at all. What do you mean? If I'd never met you, Yuri, and I just kept living my life in that castle, I would have lived without ever knowing about the child of the full moon or the Antilochia or any of that. Okay. So maybe I could just go on living without knowing why Pharaoh wants me dead. So you're saying you should just go back to the capital? No. I think that's definitely an option. <laughs> no, it's not. When you do the fire, you're our healer. I won't stop you. Yuri. Our contract with you is null and void at this point, after all. That's true. It's just, I don't really like hypothetical situations. They're not real life. And I'm not too good at pretending to forget things that I already know. <sighs> if you can do that, then I don't have any problem with it. But... Then I... I can't do that either. But I have no idea what I should do in this sort of situation. You want to know the truth, but you don't know what to do. That'd be a good summary of your situation, right? Yes. Gotcha. Would you like a skewer? Is it any good? Why don't you try it out? 
It's my grandfather's secret recipe. What? But didn't you say you had amnesia? I know everything there is to know about Eifried. I traveled all over researching about him after all. That's how I figured out Eifried was the one who told me my name was Patty. Eifried told you your name? I. That's my oldest memory. Hmm. Just remembering that fond look makes me feel all warm inside. I don't know whether he's really my grandfather or not, but I feel that he was such an important person to me that I can't help but think that's who he is. I see. Still, it might have been smarter to keep that to yourself. I, but... You're used to it, huh? I, I don't let small stuff like that bother me. Crying gets you nowhere, was it? But even if you understand that in your head, your emotions aren't necessarily going to listen. I'm more patient than a camouflaged stone flounder sitting still in a field of stones. Oh yeah? But your info broker turned his back on you too. It's nothing. Things will work out. Tomorrow is another day. What will be, will be. In any case, you need to eat up if you want to cheer up. Mmm. This is good. Didn't I tell ya? You did tell me. You're right. first job as a guild was an egregious failure. What do you think? Should we go back to Dongrest? That might be best, but would you be okay with that, Yuri? And what about Estelle? I'd be fine with it. As for Estelle, I'll leave that answer up to her. All right. This sure is a serene little town. Huh? Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? No guilds, no empire. It's a little strange. Yeah, but I think it's relaxing. Yeah, but even so, I prefer Dongrest. That's how everyone is. Everybody prefers the place where they grew up. Do we? You too, Yuri? Well, yeah, sure. But if we're gonna work together in Brave Vesperia, we'll have to decide on a single place for our home base. We could always make someplace new, you know. Someplace new? Yeah, you know, everyone thinks of Dongrest as the Union City, but it's really Altosk City. It could be like that. Brave Vesperia could make its own city. Oh shit! Brave Vesperia's own city. Yeah, I like that idea. How? Well, either way, we've got a lot of jobs as a guild ahead of us before we can be thinking about things like that. Yeah, now that you mention it, Nordopolica is Polistrali City, isn't it? Yeah. If you think of it that way, Nordopolica is more of a guild city than Dongrest, even. Yeah, and Belius rules the city, too. Nordopolica, hmm. Leader of a city, Duce of a guild. I wonder what sort of person Belius is. So I just like to talk to people with the new moon. So, I don't know. Whoop. Point. He's not going to talk to me. So this was a complete waste of time? Well, I wouldn't go that far. Apathea? When the air crenny went berserk, Regay, I mean, Jaeger, was carrying this box. This box was what messed up my magic. 
You think the apatheia is what's causing the air cranny to go out of control? Judging from the evidence, it could be a valid hypothesis. So when the Blastia and Heliord was going out of control, you think there was apatheia nearby? And the air cranny and cave mock too? There may have been. Otherwise, maybe the apatheia has been damaging the whole world's air crenade little by little. And a large distortion just happened to appear then. I see. Okay. It's really nothing more than a guess, but it could be right. You don't sound very sure of yourself. In science, you continually make hypotheses, then test them, and you get closer and closer to the truth. That's how it is. Hmm. Well, okay. Maybe I can do something with this after all. What are you gonna do now? The next step after a hypothesis is testing it. I like how there's just items sitting around. I think it's a little slice of life section where you just like everyone's just kind of like hanging out. Did you say 50 gold? Glad you could make it. Sorry to keep you waiting. You'll be heading back too, right? Yes. Thanks to your help, we've recovered our strength. We were thinking oh, they're alive. Yeah. Yeah. With you all. That is, if you don't mind. Just make sure you don't go wandering off. How about us? What's our plan after this? I'm headed for the Air Crenae and the Weezen of Kados. But I am curious about the Entelikea too. I have the honored task of delivering this letter here to Bellius. I'd like to meet Bellius once myself! I mean, seriously, the Duce! I want to see just what kind of person the leader of the only guild to rival Altosk really is! Bellius? Yeah! Bellius is the Duce of Palastrale, which governs Nordopolica. She's the most important person there. You're friends with someone that amazing, Carol? Huh? Friends? Well, uh... It's Nordopolica for me, too. I'm gonna see what Flynn has to say about those knights in Mantake. And that's assuming he's still in Nordopolica, of course. I... I want to know why the Antelikea hate the child of the full moon. Which means I have to meet Pharaoh. But there's gotta be another way that doesn't involve Pharaoh. Right. Besides, walking around in the desert just looking for him wouldn't be easy. Why don't we all head for Nordopolica, then? You're only looking to find out the reason you were... Attacked by the Antelikea, correct? Y yes I imagine Bellius could tell you if you met with her. Why? Because of the connection between the Antelikea and the Colosseum? Yeah. I do remember Jaeger mumbling something about the Antelikea of Nordopolica. If we can believe anything he told us. Well, we'll pass through the Weasand of Kados on the way to see Bellius. Good enough? True enough. All right then, Nordopolica it is. Right. First, let's get back to Mantake. What about Patty? If I remember correctly, there were some people in Nordopolica who didn't think too highly of Patty. I'll be fine as long as I don't run into any of them. <laughs> as as the I like seat, it. Everything will be okay. 
Then, will you come with us? Hi, that I will. Didn't Bellius only meet with people on the night of the new moon? Yeah, we'll have to get a move on if we're going to see her. I'll kick myself if we miss the new moon and have to wait another month. Yorm gonna man take her totally different. It's much cooler here. Maybe it's the ocean. The ocean is very nice, yeah? It's a beautiful place, too. But it seems boring. I wonder what the folks here do for fun. I kind of like it. This kind of calm, quiet village suits me. I can't stand loud people. Oh, that's got to hurt, old man. She was talking about the town, not about <laughs> me. Hmm, maybe. D do you really hate me that much? <laughs> the bad third's so good here. Hey birds, welcome in. You just missed the um, exposition on where we're, what we're doing and why we're doing it, but you really know the game, so it's okay. We just left um, the town. I go back through the desert to see if there's anything I missed, or just keep going. Wait, Patty Zed, sir? I don't care what her voice sounds like now. She's like, probably the most valuable body member here, in terms of like, attack damage. crystal really be used to make a barrier if they could and we had enough we'd be able to make as many barriers as we wanted then even areas that suffer frequent monster attacks could be assured safety yeah but if it were possible wouldn't something like that have happened by now maybe it's best not to get our hopes up about it then ever the realist i see all i'm doing is speculating yeah. on the most probable outcome actually i think that's what being a realist means Get ready. I'm taking you down. That's a dirty no way. Here he's paralyzed. He might not be out of attack. You're dead. You're dead. Doesn't kill it. So how was your Christmas birth? I don't um I 
I don't even know what my followers do over the holidays. That's weird. Repeat. Your tail? Finally here. I've seen enough sand to last me a lifetime. You're telling me. Look, there are people outside the town. Um, it wasn't so bad. Just visited my family and stuff, and then came back doing my regular vacation. stuff. More. It's weird. It, it gets less interesting as time goes by, but it's still fun. Easy now. Haste makes waste. Indeed. We need to be cautious here and see what's going on. Hurry, hurry, all aboard. Let's all enjoy a nice little tour of the desert, shall we? But while sure we're thing, Gara. Children, I promise riches to anyone who can bring me the remains of that giant winged monster. Then your children will be able to live in the lap of luxury. Please, don't make us go! Stop your whining. I told you Berman to get aboard. Now get moving this instant. That's just how we were sent into the desert. Why don't they get on board themselves? Because they must know just how dangerous this desert is. Just like what happened to us. The giant winged monster must be Pharaoh! Yeah, but what's he want to capture Pharaoh so bad for? Well, what are we gonna do? We can't just stand by and watch, can we? I mean, we could. It's a good idea to go right now. I'm afraid that idiot isn't going to listen to anything a princess would say. Then what should we do? Carol, come here a sec. What? Yeah, I could do that. But I'd need tools. Wait, you mean... We're going to fuck them up. This will help. How convenient. Guys better bail me out if this goes bad. <laughs> so you did pick that up. Well, it was just lying there. I thought it might be useful. Whatever. What's he doing? Now about all we can do is leave it up to the kid. What is it with these commoners? They're slower than slugs. Get aboard, damn you! Sir Kimor, everyone is aboard. Everyone except yourself. What? Me? Those who do their jobs slowly will never learn without punishment. Sir Kumor, please, I beg of you. I have a wife and daughter. And Kumor is going to go pay them a close attention to make sure that at least one of them is very okay. I'd like to stay here. I'm sure I could arrange for them to go in your place. Oh, well, that's, that, that's better. Safety in numbers. Now be gone with you. Carol. Don't worry. That young man is very capable. Hmm. What's going on? Who was it that readied this coach? <sighs> Fix the blasted coach. I will find out who's responsible for this. He was, um... The wind. Gotta hand it to the little runt. You did it. <sighs> My heart was pounding like a drum. This won't do anything more than buy us some time, though. I think it's about all we can do at the moment. We're still in the middle of our journey, after all. Yeah. Yeah, Cat and Carol would start crying if we try to tackle the knights head on. How about we make ourselves scarce before people start getting too curious? I suppose we'll be on our way then. Yeah, I'm sure your kids will be so happy to see you. But there won't always be someone around to save you. I think they know that. They're adults. Right? Thank you again for all your help. Guess we should lay low at the inn for a while.
using your power to terrorize people. There's not a soul in the lower quarter that evil. You've gone too far this time, Qmore. More. What a meanie. Goes around sending people out into the desert even? I don't want to go to the desert. It's got sand. Oh, you've returned safe from... Welcome back. Looks like they've still got guards watching him. You must be tired. Please enjoy your stay. That Qmore punk is really a lousy guy. Why are there so many lousy guys in the world? Yeah, Patty, why? It's probably some kind of disease. It's gotta be the disease they call stupidity. So you do catch on. I bet you're right. I wonder why they're trying to capture Pharaoh. I don't know, but at this rate, they're going to send all of the adults in the town out into the desert. And once the adults are gone, it might be the children's turn next. No, that can't happen. We're just getting almond cat all over again. I just spoke to him as a representative of the Imperial family. Are you forgetting what happened in Heliord? Yeah, Estelle. He didn't care that you were the princess at all. <sighs> He's not the kind of person who'll reasonably listen to the words of a princess. Whatever happened to the talk of going to Nordopolica? So should we help the townspeople, or should we help ourselves? Rita? Don't you want to know what the Antelikea is thinking? If so, you should put this whole business with Qmore out of your mind for the time being. It's a strange feeling to be agreeing with you, but I think we should focus on meeting Bellius for now. Even if we captured Qmore, we wouldn't have the authority to try him for his crimes. If we can't do anything about him, we should focus on what we actually can do. If only Flynn were here. Flynn? But where is he? I wish I knew. Guess we can't kill two birds with one stone, huh? I'm sorry, Estelle. We don't mean to be ganging up on you. It disgusts me, too, to imagine that jerk snoring all nice and cozy in his bed right now. But... Probably surrounded by all of our dudes because of the way you drive what? I understand. Lock up a guy like that, and as soon as he's released, he'll just end up doing the same thing again. So we kill him, right? Yep. You know what they say. The only cure for stupidity is death. Is that a thing? The only cure for stupidity is death. Yuri's gonna murder another person. <laughs> but Judy's gotta make sure he doesn't, because she knows. I guess I'll have to play by my own rules. Judy's awake, right? Q more. No, Yuri, it's you. But what are you 
you doing here? You got the pointy arrow sword too, yeah. Someone, someone come quick. You would cross swords with a noble? Very well. I accept your challenge. No! How could this? You talk too much, Tumor. The time's come for you to make your exit. Do, do you have any idea the trouble you're in for even pointing that thing at me? It's only an assassin's blade. Why do you run Please. to the edge of town next to there? I'm not the one to blame. I've just been following orders. I had no choice. Then don't hate me. Hate whoever gave you your orders. Wait, how about this? I could use my authority to pardon all of your crimes. A fresh start. I may even be able to have you reinstated as a knight. I have no shortage of money. With enough money, I'm sure I could satisfy your every wish. Okay, I wish you were dead. Tell me what it is you want. I'll bring some money in a world where things just drop money. Seems kind of interesting. There's only one thing I want from you. Uh, then what might that? No, stop! Stay back! Don't come any closer, you beast! I am Kilmore, the captain of the Imperial Knights, the man destined to become commandant. I beg you, spare my life! P please, no! Not like this! I, I, I don't want to go like this! Tell me, how many times have you heard those very words? There is chaotic good, and I like that. My people have taken control of things here. The residents of this town won't suffer any longer. That ought to put you one step closer to your next promotion. Flynn was there the whole time. I'm heading back to the others. Yuri, we need to talk later. I know. I'll be waiting. Down at the lake. Yuri's just killing people. Ben's like, yeah, okay, my Robbie did it, but I guess it works. Who guess this town could ever be this lively? Yes, it's a great relief to know that people here can live freely again. I'm still in shock that Flynn actually came. That was amazing timing! But Qmore might just cause more pain somewhere else. You watch. Flynn will have that guy behind bars in no time. Right, Yuri? Yeah. Oh, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Yuri? Raven, you're gonna catch a cold. He wore himself out playing with all the children. You'd think he was 12 years old. Welcome back. <laughs> They're still going out there. I can't keep up with them. What happened to Patty? She's still dancing. I really don't get kids. Rita, you're like 14. You are a kid. Time, though. You're an awesome dancer, Rita. Shut up. Smack. Ah. Huh? The old man's asleep already? That was quick. Eerie? 
Just gonna go have a word with Flynn. I'll be back. Is Flynn gonna fight us again? Because we killed someone. Wait, so he wasn't a real man, so he's just lying to people. Okay. Say too much milk. Is that like the coffee from Grandia? Must be. Why don't you have a seat? Well, okay. You said we needed to talk? Tell me, why did you kill two more? You know it's not our place to pass sentence on the crimes of others. He was to be punished in accordance with the laws. And just what laws do you think would have punished him? The same laws that failed to punish Rago? <sighs> Give me a break. Yuri, you... The laws have always been the tools of whoever happens to hold all the chips. Yep. Just saying that doesn't make it right for individuals to judge right from wrong, or for you to operate your own private court of law. If the laws are at fault, then fixing those laws comes first. It's for that very reason that I'm still with the Imperial Knights. But you can't deny that lives were saved because those bastards were put down. You'd rather tell those people, sorry you had to die today, I promise we'll change things soon. That's not what I'm saying at all. Okay. I like that. <laughs> They're out there, you know. I think they're close. They're so bad, they'll just go on hurting others. What can the average person do but be victimized by people like that? You know it was the same way with our people in the lower quarter. Even so, Yuri, what you're doing isn't right. Do you intend to rain your justice down on all the villains of the world? That's the behavior of a common criminal. I recognize it for what it is, and I've made my choices. Murder is a crime. And even knowing that, you intend to dirty your hands. Intend to? I already have. So this is the path you've chosen. Don't make me repeat myself. I won't. But it seems you don't yet understand the full weight of your choices. <laughs> As a knight, I cannot overlook your crimes. Captain, I finally found you! What is it? Our barricade of Nordopolica has been completed. Also, it appears that the hunting blades are on the move. Sir, we must go to Nordopolica quickly. <clears throat> Captain. Understood. Sir. Yuri? I know you better than anyone alive, Yuri. If you insist on walking down the path of a criminal. Oh, wait! Repeat! Yuri. So, you heard it all? No. I'm sorry. Are you afraid of me, Estelle? 
If you are, you can quit right here. Join Flynn and go back to the castle. I'm not going back. Hey. It's true, the things you've done are against the law. But I... I'm confused. It's also true that your actions saved the lives of others. Yeah. You never know. Someday I might turn my blade on you. You'd never do something like that without a reason. If you ever end up pointing your sword at me, I'm sure I will have done something to deserve it. You beat a bad girl, Estelle, like kind of. <laughs> if you're going to go with Flynn, now's your chance. You seem like he was in a hurry. No. I'm going to continue on this journey with you. It's what I want. Traveling with you, I know I'll find the right path for myself, too. So what I'm thinking is... Here's to the road ahead. Thanks. sawed logs like that for a good long while Ugh. Ugh. yeah it's called over sleeping we're ready to hit the road so get that sleep out of your eyes hey old man your eyes are all droopy what that's not good jeez huh there are fewer nights than before yeah Flynn and his crew went back to Nordopolica that must mean they were traveling by night. Was there some emergency they had to deal with? They wanted to eat some fish, so they went back to Nordopolica. Oh, come on, Patty. They're not like you. Maybe they had to take care of the monsters from the Colosseum. I'll bet Paul Estrale requested the help of the knights. Hmm. We'll have to wait and see. Hmm? Well, it's just that Flynn said something about a barricade. Barricade? What could that mean? Are they out to arrest Bellius for what happened in the Great War? I can't imagine that Paul Estrale would be outmaneuvered that easily by the Knights. I get the feeling this is gonna get messy. Maybe we should think twice about heading back to Nordopolica for now. But the new moon's almost here. If we miss this chance, who knows when we might meet Bellius again? If I can't go to Nordopolica, I can't get on a ship. If I don't get on a ship, I won't be able to find the Maristella or recover my memory. If we don't do that, then the subplot for Patty will be ruined. <laughs> That's all well and good. I'm just not in a hurry to get tangled up with that armor-wearing bunch. Oh, I was posting something. Never mind. Like always, no use panicking about it. Don't forget, I want to take a look at the air crane and Kados. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. All right, let's head out. Yeah, let's head out. Let's go wherever. Things are bound to improve here in Mantake now that Flynn's liberated the town. They did allow the ringleader to escape, though. You more? Flynn will catch him in no time, right, Yuri? 
Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah, sure he will. Is something wrong? He looked troubled. Estelle's not her usual perky self either. Th that's not true. I'm as happy as you all are that Mantake's been freed. If you say so. Judy, like these two people are lying. I can tell because I'm smart. <laughs> I want to go back to Nord Apollica, but at the same time, I feel like I should grind a little bit. What do you think? Good day. Ah, are you going to the Weasand of Kados? Yes, we are. Why do you ask? The Imperial Knights have sealed off passage through Kados. It's not just here. They've set up blockades at all of the routes through the mountains. Blockades? Why would they... I don't know all the details, but I heard that it has something to do with some danger in Nordapolica. Okay. What should we do? We need to get to Nordapolica before the new moon. I wish I could help, but they wouldn't even let me through, and I have a travel permit. Are you a member of the Fortune's Market? Yes. How'd you get your permit? The Empire issues travel permits to Fortune's Market so that its members can travel wherever they want. At least, that's how it's supposed to be. Right. But the Imperial Knights wouldn't let me go any further. I'm going back to Mantake, since there's no way to get around them. Should we go back to Mantake and chill out too? Hmm. What are we gonna do? Do you think Flynn ordered the blockades? Hmm. <sighs> I couldn't say. Either way, we can't afford to be stuck here for much longer. Yes, it'll be a lot of trouble if we miss the new moon. But I don't think they'd let us through, even if we asked nicely. Well, to be honest, we can go take a look and think about how to get in. The hard part will only come once we've gotten inside. What do you mean, once we've gotten inside? They set up blockades to make it hard to get out of the mountains. Getting inside shouldn't be nearly as tough. I think that much is safe to assume. Well then, should we go back to Mantake to do some final preparations? No, we're fine. Let's go like we are. Your friend is quite talented, considering the ease with which he saved Mantake. Who, Flynn? That was nothing for him. You know him really well, don't you, Yuri? Well, we've hung around together since we were kids. You don't hang around together much anymore, though. <sighs> Yuri? The Flynn Brigade. So, that's the blockade? Yeah. Looks like it was Flynn's brigade's doing, after all. But, what are those monsters doing here? Perhaps they've been tamed by the knights? This brigade is reminding me of Flynn less and less. What the hell is Flynn doing with his knights anyway? With hardcore tactics like this, there ain't any doubt in my mind this has something to do with the talk of Felius engineering the Great War. So how do we get past this checkpoint? Huh? Seriously? Let's do that! And then? <laughs> what could they be talking about? I like it. Old man, do you mind keeping it down? Sorry, sorry. Now that sounds like fun. How about this? What the hell? Stop it! Settle down! Let's go now. Hey, hey! Don't leave this old man behind! What the? Come back, you! Yuri Lowell! See ya! Have fun!
<laughs> that was pretty slick, old man. What are you saying? That was all thanks to Patty. Humans work a lot harder when they get rewarded, don't they? Rewarded? What are you talking about? That's our little secret. It's just between us, right, Patty? So annoying. It's our little secret. Uh... What is that nonsense? It's probably some useless promise of theirs. Anyway, let's keep moving. Only the Empire has enough power to cut off all the ways in and out of a whole town. Well, the Guild's power is totally different. The Union would never try something like this. It's the Empire's style. Crush problems with everything they've got. What are they after? Who do they think they are, sealing off all the roads like this? I think the answer to that lies in Nordopolica. We should hurry before we're caught. Oh shit, that hurt. I know, right? Middle look easy as well. Challenge at all. Don't get careless. Take this. Such grace. Time to break. What? Like, there's actually let's say some character development happening with the weapons here as well. Let's go. Like Yuri's weapons are axes and swords, but the fact they can use axes is meant to like show like like executioner style as well in some cases, right? Like he's Judge and Jury. Looks like they aren't following us. That was pretty fun. Hey, this is no game. Seriously. No, it's not. That's what I'm talking about. This is real. First, <laughs> this happened. Two heads are better than one. Yeah, but they went and sealed off a dangerous place like this just to isolate Nordopolica. These guys mean business. Seriously, even bringing monsters to help? Whatever they're doing, it can't be good. I can't believe that Flynn would order something like this. Hey, what kind of person is Flynn? He's Yuri's friend. I've heard they've known each other since they were children. Sometimes orders coming down from the top don't make sense. The meaning can get lost going down the chain of command. When a brigade gets big and famous enough, things can start to get out of hand. You certainly know a lot about these things. Makes sense for someone in Altosk. Yeah. Things can end up like that no matter what the organization. What worries me is how much of a hand Flynn had in all this. I'm sure we'll get a good understanding of that as soon as we can get to Nordopolica. That's right. But we should be on our guard. Even though I find it hard to believe that they've conquered Nordopolica by force. Yeah, I think the Palastrale would have a problem with that. Sorry, Rita. You won't get much time to investigate the Air Krenne. Ugh. Oh, well. I don't have much choice. It'd be bad if they caught up to us. Exactly. Come on, let's get going. Yuri sure is enthusiastic. He won't say it, but I reckon he's just worried about his friend. Do Flynn and Yuri really have that strong of a bond? Yeah. Well, you could call it strong, I guess. Maybe. What? Are you jealous? Hmm. I'll have to hold a strategic meeting to stop Yuri from being snatched away from me. <laughs> I was like, Yuri and Flynn are clearly gay. <laughs> Is there friends? 
<laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Basically what was said in front of us, right? So what was that deal you were talking about? A deal? What sort of deal? With who? You said something about a deal with the old man when we were in Kados. I... Don't tell me you forgot. Uh, no. I haven't forgotten. She forgot. So it's a secret, is it? I'll tell you, Yuri, since I can trust you. I appreciate it. If he works hard here, I'll teach him Judy's measurements. You really know how his mind works, don't you? It's not exactly a mystery. Hmm? What's up? Shouldn't we be hurrying along? Hey, you're not as young as you used to be. Let's take it easy. Seconded! Well, well what do you mean? Oops. I made it mad. I actually like Carol's attacks, just because I know he's actually using them. <laughs> Struck the pain shot, like, the last attack in the game. <laughs> yep, Slummy's getting hurt. <laughs> See you next time, yeah. I'll probably get through this cave and then we'll start earlier tomorrow. Hopefully. Oh, we have an orange shell. Whoops. We shouldn't have known that before we went anywhere. No, no, we're not. We can't use the line gel. The sign of victory. Yeah. Yay. You had pretty good.
This will make good practice. Let's just get it over with. Come here. What a weird defensive posture. charred to a crisp. Try not to take too long, okay? Sure. It's completely inactive now, and it was overflowing so much before. Is that how the air was controlled? How could a monster do something like that? Is that air crene safe now? We'll be in trouble if air shoots out of it like before. It doesn't look like you have to worry about that. So why'd the air suddenly shoot out before? That's what's puzzling me. Maybe it was just a natural phenomenon? The probability of that is low at best. If that was the case, it should be emitting air at regular intervals. If air were emitted that frequently, It'd have an effect on the environment. Like how the plants grew so unnaturally in Cave Mock. Looks pretty normal around here to me. So perhaps something else interfered with the air crene and caused it to discharge air? What could do that? Only a formula or blastia could affect air like that. <laughs> Damn, that would be our fan club. Seems like these knights are just as dedicated as the captain himself. Rita, let's go. Are you done looking at the air crane? Just let me think a little more. If you just need time to think, you'll have plenty of time once we've gotten out of here. Mmm, all right, all right. If the air crane was disturbed by... Did you figure anything out? It's still too early to say. I've got some leads, but it's nothing I can be sure of yet. Well, make sure and let us know when you've nailed it down. I will. All right, let's head out. And it'll probably involve you. Okay. Yeah, I guess we'll interesting. Wait. Sorry if 
if I hurt you. I'll blow you away. It sure will. Get ready. I'm taking you down. Let's go. We got an orange shell. Yay! Okay, we'll move. Okay. Yeah, teleport momentarily is actually kind of awesome. Take cover. Hey, it's these guys. Because it's only natural they're guarding this end too. Patty, do you have any ideas for getting through? Hmm. Raven, can you do something like you did before? Best not to press your luck when the knights are taking their work so seriously. They don't look that serious from here. I say, woe is me! How has our illustrious Schwan Brigade ever been reduced to playing backup for Flynn? Enough complaining. If you don't like it, we better produce some results. There they are! Capture them! They found us! What is this? You three, don't let them escape! Ah, if it isn't Mr. Yuri Lowell. Hey, LeBlanc, it's been a while. Uh, and your highness. What are we gonna do? Oh well, here goes nothing. 
Wait. Attention. Y yes, sir. Not sure what's going on, but now's our chance. Huh? Whoa! Raymond, what did you do? Ah, it's nothing. Enough standing around. They'll catch up in no time if we don't get moving. This happened. <laughs> yeah, let's head for Nordopolica, quick. Alright, I've got to call it a night there, and we're going to head back to Notopolica tomorrow. Just hanging out, just dropping in bears and chatting. Hey, old lurkers, you're very appreciated. Hit follow if you haven't done so already. We'll be, yeah, we'll be back. I'm going to call it a night there, though.